it still rock and roll all night and party every day? Are the Ramones still dead? Will Roger Daltrey ever return to the Kinks? And perhaps the biggest question of all, where in the world can I find a brilliant and handsome music reviewer to answer all of these questions and more? Sadly, I couldn't find one. <laughs> so we have Mark Prindle. He's a world-renowned music writer and webmaster of the off-visited markprindle.com. He knows musical appreciation like I know painful constipation. It's true, I'm suffering right now. Mark, in our top story tonight, the uh, 2010 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominees have been announced. It includes mm -hmm. such acts as Kiss, Donna Summer, and LL Cool J. LL yep. Cool J, your thoughts? Uh, well, first of all, I think it, I'm happy that Kiss got nominated because they had a lot of great songs. Mm -hmm. um, and LL Cool J, I'm thrilled because really, what says rock and roll like LL Cool J? <laughs> Remember running around air guitaring to LL Cool J? Yes. Um, no, it's, this is it's ridiculous. It's just what there he is. It's just more politically correct nonsense from these guys. Oh, we we don't have enough rappers in the rock and roll. You, you know, you don't hear the baseball Hall of Fame going. Oh, we need more badminton players. <laughs> that is you so know, it's not the same Boy, thing. You don't hear that. Now, they're finally nominating the Stooges, which is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's real nice of them to wait until the year the guitarist dies <laughs> yes. to nominate them. Yes. I mean, they've, been, they've been eligible for 15 years, yes. and they put out two of the greatest rock albums ever, Funhouse and Raw Power. And instead, they're like, oh, there's no room for the Stooges this year. We're too busy with Bonnie Raitt, you know, <laughs> some blues guy who wrote one song 5,000 years ago. <laughs> you know, hey, Greg, you know, you know what you call it when you stick a bunch of needles in your hand? Yeah, what? Pricks. Ah, oh, interesting. You know, there are a few, that's true. You know, he is right. They are, they are called pricks. We, I don't now, there are more rock acts out for nomination. There's Genesis, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and the Hollies. What's your favorite there, Annie? The Hollies had some great singles. Uh, they weren't much of an album band. Genesis should be banned for life just for Phil Collins, yes. seriously. <laughs> um, regardless of the early records. Uh, and the Red Hot Chili Peppers, you know, I'm proud to say I'm old enough to have hated them when they were cool. Yeah. Uh, and if there's anyone out there who honestly believes that man didn't evolve from monkey, look at their lead singer. Come on. That is true. I, I, I hate them. I hate them, too. Now, speaking of the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. did you hear that Fox Searchlight is in negotiations to produce a biopic about the Ramones? Well, what's it going to be called? Snort the line? <laughs> drug humor! Yeah. I made some drug humor. Yeah. You're all laughing. I, uh, yeah. are you, uh, uh, no, listen. Uh, the, pr the problem here, I love the Ramones, but the problem is being a biopic, I know it's going to be so dumbed down mm -hmm. that by the time it hits the screen, the Ramones are going to be like, you know, one guy, you yeah. know, who, who dies of a tragic disease because his father didn't love him enough. That is so true. That is so true. Um, apparently, I guess the movie is going to be based on a book called I Slept with Joey Ramone. That sounds sexy. Uh, no, the title's a joke. It's actually by Joey Ramone's brother, Mickey Lee. Oh. Uh, however, something, 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 I slept with David Letterman. <laughs> uh, back to you, Jay. You didn't, you, didn't, you didn't take the time to even work that joke out. No, you just no, decided I mean, you, yeah. just, you had the punchline. Yeah, had the it punchline. was a good punchline. Punch you, sure. you didn't need the setup. You didn't need the setup. Uh, no. All right, I want to talk about Pearl Jam's ninth album called Backspacer, okay. which, by the way, sounds like a really stupid name for an album, but it's the top of the Billboard, Billboard charts, given Pearl Jam, their first number one since 96 No Code. What's your take on this? Uh, well, it sounds more like a number two to me, if you know <laughs> what I'm talking about. You know, what they're really good at is being anthemic and emotional. On this album, they're like, look at us, we're, we're hard, we're, we're kick-ass rock and rollers. And I'm like, no, you sound like a fourth-rate bar band playing songs written by a 12-year-old. <laughs> And I can, I can talk down to Pearl Jam, because I'm a successful man. You are. That you are. Um, what do you, why do you think it's getting such great reviews? Uh, gee, it couldn't just be poor taste. So uh, <laughs> I think maybe rock fans are probably just desperate for anything that doesn't have an auto-tuner or a guy rapping in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, why else would they keep buying these crappy U2 and Bruce Springsteen albums that come out every year? That's a good point. It's a mm -hmm. good point. There really isn't any rock and, if it, any exactly. rock and roll left. Now, I just want to finally, uh, uh, apparently Kanye West and Lady Gaga's anticipated Fan Kills tour has been canceled. Yep. What's your take on this? Well, apparently, I heard about this. Apparently, what happened is every time Lady Gaga went out to try to rehearse, mm -hmm. Kanye would run on stage, grab her mic, and just talk about something he likes. <laughs> you know, like, Cheerios is the best cereal of all time. <laughs> that, is, that is true. Um, tickets, I heard read that ticket sales were low because people just grew disgusted with Kanye West. People are... 
Well, you know, I don't like to think of myself as being five years ahead of the curve on anything. <laughs> in this I mean that MTV Music Awards thing. You know what would be great is if someone on the internet did something to make fun of that. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> it really would. Well, Mark, we got to go. Thank you okay. so much. Always Thank a you. pleasure having you on. Remember, uh, check out his website, markprindle.com. There's like zillions of records uh, reviewed and also some really great interviews. Coming up next, Mail Time.